Hey guys, welcome back. In this video editor, we'll see how we can automate the process using Jenkins to build a Java application and build a Docker file to create an image and create container out of that image and how we can access that container from the outside world. So let's start. So let's see the automation workflow. Once the developer finishes his coding, we'll update into the local repository and then proceed to the remote repository. So here we are using GitHub as our remote repository that is source code management. So once the code is updated into remote repository, it will automatically get triggered and the Jenkins build will start. So Jenkins will build the Docker file and create image out of that and that image will be published into the registry. So we are using Docker Hub as our registry and then we'll create container out of that images. Uh, we'll create app1 as one container and second container we'll create as app2 and we'll see how we can connect this container from outside. Now let's see what's the project setup. So here I am on my terminal. Uh, so I have created one folder, uh, project folder that is DevOps web. So if you see in this folder, I have the required project files okay and the source file and the pom.xml which is required to build this application okay and i also i have one docker file which we are going to use to create the image and create the container out of that image so let's see what this docker file contains if you see here, I have just, uh, this Docker file is a very simple one. I have uh, created uh, like this, uh, starting from from Tomcat colon 8.0. So what is this means? Uh, so I have used the from, that means what this always, whenever you write the Docker file, you have to write the from to get the base image, okay? From which base image you are going to make your image file. So I've given here from, Tomcat. I'm going to use the Tomcat uh, server here. Next is adding the war file, like the project war file, the artifacts into the working directory of the Tomcat container. So that is user local Tomcat web apps. After that, what I'm going to do, uh, let me expose the port number. So remember, uh, the Tomcat runs on port number 8080. And then work directory so whenever the container will create it so the working directory will be your web apps directory so next is cmd command i have used here the cmd command execute the commands after the container created so it will it will just execute this catalina.sh which in turn start our tomcat server and make it run all the time so that we can access our application let's see how we can build docker file using our jenkins tool let's go to your jenkins tool i'm um, on my jenkins dashboard uh, so what we have to do we are going to create a freestyle project to set off the build process so just hit in the new item here i'm going to give a pro give a project name like um, docker so i'm going to create the freestyle project here select and okay give it a java application now we don't have to give all the any options over here now the source code management uh, as we are going to use git select git here and get the repository here repository url go and get your repository url from the code here okay and paste it here so as this repository is a public repository it is not required to provide the credentials now let's uh, see the branch to build i have given the master branch to build now the build trigger here we are going to use github 
hook triggered to trigger the event automatically once the developer puts the code into GitHub repository. Next, what we are going to do? Choose the build option. So here, first we have to choose to build the base project, that is the Java application. To build that, we have to we are going to choose in invoke top level Maven target. Select it, and here I'm going to use the as clean package. Now let's add another step. This is uh, this step will build our Java application. Next step we will build our Docker file. So to build our Docker file. Uh, you can see here one option is called the docker build and publish select this one and you will see here the repository name this repository name is nothing but your docker hub registry repository right so what you have to do you have to just give your registry name here so my registry name is docker for ranjit and then you have to provide the image name suppose i'm going to provide a image called web up demo web app demo and provide the tag that is i'm going to provide the build number build underscore number so this build underscore number is nothing but a but an inbuilt variable uh, which is declared uh, which is uh, being used in jenkins so whenever you uh, will whenever a when new build will trigger a new generated and this build number will contains that id so this build number will generate whenever a new build happens so here now next what we have to give uh, we provided the registry name and then we have to give the docker registry credential so here what we are going to give the docker registry credentials uh, i have already added it so selected it if you have not added you can go and uh, add it here and uh, so we added to build the docker file and uh, publish the image into the registry let's add another step to run container out of the images execute cell as my docker is installed on another remote server i'm going to use ssh command to connect the server first and then execute the docker run command to create the container so to do that, what I'm going to write, I'm going to use SSH. I'm going to use SSH root at the rate and give the IP address of the remote server. So the IP address is 65.2.140.131. Okay, and then execute the Docker command. So I'm going to execute docker run hyphen d in detached mode. Give a name, give a name to the container. Like I'm going to give as web app one, and then publish the port. I'm going to publish the host port as eighty two eighty two and the container port as eight zero eight zero. Okay, and uh, as you know that Tomcat container runs on default port 8080 so we are going to publish this port to the host port 8282 so that we can able to connect the container application from the outside world okay so now let's give the image name so image name you can get it over here so this is the repository name or image name you can just copy it and provide it here this is the image name so this is one container we are going to create and deploy our applications we're going to create so this is the one container we are going to create so let's create another container and run in different port just copy the entire line here just change the port to 8383 83 and the container name to web app 2 so now what we did we added three build steps here one is to invoke top level Marvel targets that we built on our Java application
and the next one is to execute the cell like to run the container from the images created so just save this now our entire project is saved so what we can do now we can build the project so click on build now so as soon as you build it you'll see one build will start running so if you just click on this build you will see so the build is running now if you click on this build uh, you'll see the console output here is the console output and you can see it here the build is now success and uh, it is just uh, getting the tomcat uh, from you can just step one from tomcat 8.0 and then step two it's just um, adding the var file into the tomcat web app folder and uh, then step three is exposing the port and working directory and then executing the command so if you see here it's uh, successfully executing all these layers and uh, so you can see here it's already finished so it's successfully completed the build is success now so let's go and uh, check whether the image is uploaded into our docker hub or not so go to your docker hub uh, image uh, registry so here we can see uh, the image web app demo is created few minutes ago okay few seconds ago now here if you just click on that and you can see the tags tag number two and it's created few seconds ago Now see this web app demo image being pulled in the, into the remote server and the container is created out of that. So if you go to the remote server and do docker images, you will see the images created here and you will see here the latest tag is 2 and about a minute ago it is created. Okay, now you can see here and now let's see the container is created or not. So use docker ps hyphen a or you can use docker container ls. So it will list out the running containers. You can see here the container IDs and the application container name web app one and web app two. And it uh, first container 82, 82, and the second container runs on 83, 83. So now we can see our containers are up and running. Now let's see how we can access the application inside the container from outside. Just go to your web browser. And there just get the IP address of your remote server so, and paste it here and just give port number 82 82 and the application name if you hit enter you can see here see the application is up and running and we are able to access the container one the so first container we are able to access so now let's uh, do the same thing for the container two so container uh, second container runs on 8383 and uh, if you give the application name you can see here the application also running and we can able to access both of the container so now what we'll do let's change something in the code and update into the remote repository this time it will be automatically triggered by the github hook go to your project folder i'm going to update the template file here so cd source so main folder and then in the web app folder i'm going to change the template file so here you can see uh, this template .xstml. so here i'm going to change the version 4442 just 1.2.5 let's see whether the same text is getting reflected on the container so update to 1.2.5 and save the file now let's update the opposite git art and then commit it and then push the position into also So as soon as it is pushed to a github repository, the build will automatically trigger. So 
So here you can see the build is started running. If you click on this build, you will see the console output. And here you can see the build is success and it is creating the images and after that it will push that image to registry and then get container out of that image. With success. And so now let's see whether the container has updated or not. Just refresh it. And you can see here the container has updated into 1.2.5. So that means when uh, this is successfully deployed. And if you go to the next container 8383, 83, it also has updated to newer version 1.2.5. So in this way, we can build the Docker file, create image out of that, and create container through the create container using the Jenkins job. So hope you understood clearly how we can set up the Jenkins job to build an application, build the Docker file, create image out of that, and create container from that image. Also, we saw how we can access the applications inside the container from outside world. Please do like and share the video. If you are not subscribed my channel, please do subscribe. I'm going to create more projects on DevOps so that you'll get notified when I add more videos on my YouTube channel. So thank you for watching till end. See you in the next lecture.